Hi, Dee Dee Ladybug here. Um, I just want to show, share with you my latest uh, journal that I just finished. There's a little tassel that I made uh, to match all the colors that are in the book. And this is inspired by Lindsay Zenor, Z-E-N-O-R. Uh, she has a tutorial. Please, please go check out her channel. She has the cutest little journals and she does have a tutorial on how she makes her little tassels. So if this is something that you want to learn, um, please go check her out. She's just so creative and cute. Uh, hi, Lindsay, if you watch. <laughs> And this is just a piece of uh, real thick elastic that I left a little bit of room here. So when the book gets filled up, whoever decides they would like to have it can have a little bit extra um, elastic. And it's, it's strong, so it will stretch. And these are all items that I've had in my stash. A little owl, a little gem here. And I think... It says love on the back. This is a Tim Holtz class thing. And it's just knotted on there. So you can always come off. And it's got a little key right here. Because this is your journal. This is how you where you lock your secrets in. A little, little butterfly here. And uh, the safety pen. And just so cute. Uh, and what I did here is the hidden seam binding. I think that's what you call this. Yeah. Um, this is, I hope you can see how beautiful that yellow is. It's just a beautiful yellow. I didn't really want to cover it up by sewing it on the outside. So I sewed it and hid it where it's on the inside. And this is a, it's a beautiful gray. It's a lovely texture. This book is in really good condition. And I think it was from 1956. So whoever had it took really good care of it. Really good care of it. And it's just the texture on it is, is just absolutely lovely. I went ahead and put um, the corners on it, as you can see here. Because the corners were getting a little frayed. Not, not too bad, but a little tiny bit. I'm so sorry. I'm a little distracted outside my craft room. There's a little baby hummingbird sitting on a, on one of the branches. Ah, oh, so cute. I won't. Okay. <laughs> I love hummingbirds. Oh, let me get started. Um, so the bee here is from an ephemera pack that I recently bought uh, over at Joann's. And they probably still have them. It's got flowers and everything in it, which are throughout the book as well. This paper pad is probably six, seven years old. I know it's, I've had it for quite some time. I just, it just really appealed to me because of the colors. I love the yellow and the gray and a little tiny bit of green and the black and the silver and the glitter, of course. Everybody loves some glitter. So that's where all this paper is from. It was a hot buy, so I don't know. I think I might have paid six dollars for it, but. Sadly, they just don't, they don't have this paper pad anymore. It's, it's pretty old. And this, uh, these little treat bags, I don't know where I got them, but I liked it because it, the, the heart looks glittery. If I can get it, there you go. But there, it's not, it ju it's just a photograph or it, you know, it's flat. There's no texture there. So on every one of these little, uh, they're called treat bags. I put a little pull out and all of them are going to be playing on the back with a little tab, a little sticky tab there. Okay. And on the front, there's three signatures, five pages, which equal 10. So by the time you add it all up, uh, pardon me, uh, we're cooking banana bread. It smells good in here too. <laughs> um, it'll be 60 pages. So these are little pockets in the front. Each signature is about the same, just the paper will be a little different, but it's all from the same exact paper pad. Also too, like all the little trims that you see here were also from Michael's that I bought the same time I bought the paper pad. And you used to be able to buy these like little packages for like $1.50 and there would be all this trim and lace, which you'll see later uh, in the book. So in the front here, what I did was these are four by six, and this is um, was also in that little 
that came with all of this. Um, there will be one that will have a sticker on it, and each one of them will be different. And these are uh, four by six. And I've had these wood, wood veneers, this one's just plain, for a very long time as well. So I basically used my stash. So it's a, it's a stash journal. Photo stash journal. Ah, I'll come up with something. Because I want these to be able, I want whoever, you know, decides that this is something they'd like to have in their, their own personal, uh, you know, that they want to have. They can have the opportunity to not only write in it, but to put photos in it. I love to photo journal a lot. Um, and then I like to write the story about what it, what it, what the photo is. And I like to have an opportunity to share what I like to do with maybe someone else out there who wants to do the same. Uh, <laughs> so that's what this, that's what I like to do. And that's kind of the, you know, that's just how I put together my little books. These are some journaling cards. Um, I probably bought them at Hobby Lobby. You know, I try to wait for everything to go on clearance, clearance, clearance. And I just thought they went really well with this particular paper stack. I did uh, try my hand at stitching. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Let's see. Yeah, not, not too much because I used a really light color. But this gray has... See how it's kind of shiny and glittery? It's really cute. Um, obviously, coffee dyed. And this is a skirt I bought at a thrift store. And I just cut it up and did the tabs. Because I see a lot of the gals doing the journals, they do that. And I really like that look. So I tried my hand on it. And uh, I think I like it. I might do it some more. I think it's really cute. And this also is very textured and got the shiny the shiny on it and then in the first pocket of every signature there's going to be two tags and one of them also is going to have a little sticker and each one of them will have a different sticker this is how the paper came with these little black dots so I just ran with it these are all sewn in this is completely glued down and that's from that ephemera pack I was talking about earlier this says here, the journey is the destination. And these, there's four of them in here. A little brad, which on this page, it's actually washi tape that you can uh, take off and undo the brad if you want to remove the little tags and put them somewhere else in the book. Um, this, these little gold leaves you'll see later in the book. They're they came in strips that were like 12 inches because a lot of the stuff that I used to buy was because I wanted a scrapbook. And I've just kind of not done as much as the 12 by 12 layouts as I used to. I tend to do more of the books because then I can, I can throw them in my purse and I can, you know, take them to lunch when I'm visiting family and show them some of the current events in our lives here. And on this side of the, the envelope or the little treat bags, little six by a uh, little I think they're three by threes oh sorry for the glare really cute and again these went with the bigger the bigger journaling cards and I think they were like for a wedding um project life thing but it was all wedding themed but there were some that I felt that could be just every day you know and this is plain, you can see how there were some, I don't know, these spots that were already on the paper. And I just thought they were cute and worked with it. And then here was that stuff I was telling you that was in the, you know, that was wrapped around in this little, little thing. I, I know some of y'all remember how to, when we used to get it. Um, let me see. I might have some of it right here. Let me see. You guys probably, I don't know if they sell them anymore, but they used to come like this. You know, and they would, they were like $1.50, but you would have all these different kinds of ribbons and everything on it. And, you know, like I say, I still have a lot left over for another project that has yellow in it. And then these are four by six as well. And these also have a bit of a glittery 
texture to it and these will all be blank on the back and uh, I did sew these pockets if you can see that and this has a glitter the black portion of it does and there's the other side of the treat bag and this has some glittery effects to it too and that's part of the ribbon and I left, you know, some places pretty bare. I know it looks very empty, but that's for whoever wants to put it in their home. That's for them to add what they want on there or write or do whatever, you know, makes them happy. Um, in this particular envelope, these are a bunch of die cut, all white uh, flowers, all different from AliExpress, from My Favorite Things, just all kinds of little white flower die cuts to add to the pages. Oh, these here, these stickers right here, I had three of them. Used them all because they were so pretty. Um, there was a lady who worked for a scrapbooking paper embellishment company and she used to have these awesome yard sales where you could buy stuff for 50 cents and a dollar and boy oh boy did I spend a lot of money and I'm still using up those things from her yard sales. A little paper clip. This was also with the um, gold leaf long thing that you're supposed to put on a 12 by 12. So I just cut them down and put them on the coffee stain paper. So I liked it. Oh, there it is. See, isn't that pretty? It's like a, it's a gold foil. And I just cut them down. Again, more of the larger journaling cards. Best day ever. And, uh, Got those at the dollar store. It's a gold and really pretty um, off-white color. The Tim Holtz punch, which I love. It literally sits on my desk. It never gets put away. And here you can put anything you want in it. And again, it starts, here's your second signature. And it just, uh, again, it starts right over. And that says, remember stapled that on there and when you take it out you can you still have plenty of room to do whatever you want yellow wood butterfly the larger six the larger journaling cards another piece of fabric and then a little pin here with another charm that's like the one on the front that says oh where'd it go there it is it says love on the one side and it's got a cute little heart on the front and a little pin we'll Tim Holtz pen. It says Trinkets 25. I had those forever too. And, and here you can see more of the stitching. More of the con contrasting stitching there. And again, just one of them will have a little sticker on it. This is completely glued down. There's that tape again, so that when you turn the page, if you wanna remove these and put them somewhere else, you can. And the littler journaling cards. Uh, I'll put them in later. And then this has the, the glitter and the shiny on it as well. A little flower, four by sixes. Again, stitched around here. Some more of the little tags with the staple and the little pieces of lace. This is glittery too. Not too much glitter, but just enough, you know, just enough. Gotta have glitter. And here's another one of those stickers. And this is like, really like handmade paper just really cute and I've hoarded those long enough and in this particular envelope um, just a bunch of die cuts that are like frames uh, different sizes um, but there's about uh, I don't know five or six of them in there and like I say different sizes so those are kind of cute to put around in pictures or if you want to put it around words or maybe a movie ticket or anything you want. 
I know I put a lot of stuff in my journals. I cram them pretty, pretty, pretty tight. <laughs> and here's another paper clip, a little uh, flowered one, and another um, tinsel thing that I cut down. This was a, all, all of them together. It was a one long roll piece. There's some more of those gold. Look at that. Oh, those are so pretty. Another one of the gold, Ted and Tim Holtz scrapbook. This is your beautiful. Two big journaling cards. And again, it's, and then it just starts over. Adventure. I hate to go on an adventure. It's been a while. You are the best. Let me get another piece of that fabric. Coffee dye. Oh, that turned out. Just now seeing that. That you know when you I don't know if it's the same for, me, for you all, but when you're working on it, you're just working on it going, oh that's pretty, but then you see it in the camera and you're like, wow, that turned out really cute. Or maybe it's just me. I don't know. <laughs> seeing my stuff on, on camera is always a little bit different. There's the two tags. A little sticker, a little hidden sticker there. And again, this is completely glued down with a little B. The same idea here with the washi tape. And four tags. I mean, isn't that a cute paper pad? Two more of the little cards. And I still have a lot of this paper left over, too. So as soon as I find another book that has the yellows and grays, I probably will pull it out and make another book. Or if I find one that's black. Ooh, I think I have a black book, too. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I am noticing um, I didn't put any butterflies or anything on here on the strings this time. I really want to keep it plain this time. Um, I thought about putting my butterflies on it or hearts or something, but you know, this time I thought I'm just going to keep it plain. Maybe what I'll do is I'll, well, I'm going to keep it plain. Yeah, I like it plain. Hopefully you will too. And if you don't, you can always take like the flowers that were in that one envelope and just uh, glue them all together and it can be, you know, it you know, can hold the strings together if you'd like. Another one of the envelopes that I made. And in this one, it's die cuts, you know, like postage stamp. And then here's a white one. Let's see if I can get it over on this page. And you can put pictures on it, or they could be little journaling spots. Anything, anything anybody wants to do, it's allowing them that creativity too. Another bird paper clip. The last of the little tinsel. And the coffee dyed paper turned out really cute. And more of the leaves. And a couple more of the larger journal cards. This is Hello Beautiful. And there's the back, and then this is just really shiny and glittery. Can you? There you go. Sorry for the glare. And there's a little bumblebee out back here. You can see he's got glittery wings and a little bit of ribbon or lace. And there's the back of it. I I did keep it plain. I I know that that doesn't appeal to everybody, but I I liked it. I just thought the book was spoke for itself. Well, I really do appreciate you watching. Thank you so much and look forward to seeing you all again. Um, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button too. That would make me so happy. And I will see you on the next completion of any journals that I do. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.